At this point in the engineering design process, your team should have clarified its assignment, completed a design context review, and established design criteria. The next step in the engineering design process is idea generation. Idea generation can be difficult, but luckily there's a process we have to apply called brainstorming. So for example, assume you have a paperclip. How many uses for this paperclip can you come up with? Stop the video now, take two minutes, and write as many uses as you possibly can. Write quickly and then move to the next idea. The process that you just completed is called brainstorming. Brainstorming is a creative technique that, when applied correctly, allows you to generate new ideas for problems. Brainstorming is very effective for individuals and teams to develop creative solutions from the accumulation of the research completed during your design context review. So you just completed a brief brainstorming on how many uses you can come up with for a paperclip. So how many uses did you come up with? Was it five, maybe eight, maybe even 13 uses? Well, at my right is a list of uses for a paperclip that you might have come up with. You, of course, could use a paperclip to attach the paper. You could use it as a guitar pick or a hair clip. You could also use it as a spare piece on a game board. You could even use it as a clothespin. The ideas that are on this list make a couple basic assumptions about a paperclip. First of all, that it's small. Second, that it's made of metal. And third, that its basic function is fastening things. What if we wanted to generate a list that had greater variety of ideas? James Webb Young writes about the process of brainstorming in his book, A Technique for Producing New Ideas. In this book, he provides two general principles that govern the generation of new ideas. The first is that you have to be comfortable with the principle that ideas are nothing more than new combinations of old elements. And second is that the capacity to make new combinations depends on the ability and willingness of you to see relationships. If we want to generate a greater variety of ideas for uses for a paperclip, we could change the characteristics of the paperclip. So first, what if we unfolded the paperclip? How many new ideas does this stimulate in your brain? Well, to me, this looks like something I could use to pick a lock. Uh, it looks like something I could use to poke holes. Um, this long one, I could use it as a measuring tool. It fits nicely in a book. Uh, I could also probably cut tape. If you went even farther with crazier ideas, you could imagine stringing paper clips together is a Christmas tree ornament. You could use it as a hand of a clock or to fix your braces. You could use any of these as a form of currency, as a whisk in the kitchen, or you could melt all of these down and pour them into a new shape. Sometimes some basic assumptions can keep you from getting at the greatest ideas. So what if we relax some of the assumptions you might have made about your paperclip? Let's relax the assumption that it's made of metal. Let's also assume that it's no longer small and it can be any size. Take another two minutes, jot down as many ideas as you possibly can for uses of a paperclip if it's no longer metal and if it's no longer small. Write quickly and move on to the next idea. If you imagine the paperclip is big, there are all kinds of ideas you could have. The paperclip, the paperclip could be a piece of playground equipment. It could be used as a marshmallow skewer. It could be used as a paperweight for books or papers on your desk. It could be used as an antenna or as a telephone pole. The paperclip could be used as silverware when you are eating or finally as a fencing sword. If you relax the assumption that the paperclip is made of metal, there are another range of ideas that you could use. For example, you could use it to fill your cavities. You could use it as a heating or cooling coil. Uh, you could also use it as light bulb filament or finally as chopsticks. In conclusion, brainstorming is a process to generate ideas. In this video, we use the possible uses of a paperclip as examples for ideation. In the upcoming videos, we're going to be looking at some rules for brainstorming and some techniques for brainstorming.